Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So, in yesterday's episode, we finally took down the Moon Lord, which actually wasn't that hard, to be honest. But it's nice to be in post-Moon Lord Calamity again, because it's been a little while, and to be honest, I feel like I enjoy the mod the most post-Moon Lord, because I like how extreme things get. So, in today's episode, we are going to work on some loose ends... And basically just crafting some things, essentially. That's what we're doing today. So one of the things that was requested the most was an upgrade to the Hive Pack called the Plague Pack. But to actually make that, you need to beat uh, the Plague Bringer Goliath. So the first thing we're going to do today is we are going to go and take down that boss. So I've got all my potions in here. I made a potion dump because I was getting kind of sick of having them all in my inventory. And I thought, you know what? I need a space where I can dump them all. Because there are so many of them. So we're going to do that first. Now, I don't know whether this item that we're going to get is 100% drop rate. I kind of hope it is because I only have one prepared. Because I was meant to do it yesterday. And then I forgot about it. Because I was going to do it before the Moon Lord. And then I just completely forgot. But ah oh well. Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. We'll get it done anyway. And then what I'm going to do is, if we can make this banging accessory, then what I'll do is I'll use it to actually uh, farm out the Moon Lord one more time, because it does need to be farmed out. It was a uh, a pretty good kill yesterday, but because obviously I, um, I have to make another summon, I wasted a slot, essentially. I wasted uh, an attempt at the at the fight. What am I on about? There you go. I, I wasted fragments because I couldn't do the fight. So I did waste fragments. So I kind of need to catch up on fragments. I mean, there are going to be lots and lots and lots of things that use fragments. Like, all the singularities need fragments. So it's something we just have to get working on, essentially. It's something we can't ignore. We need to start farming out Moon Lord. But I don't want to bore you all with that because it does take a while. So there is that. Right. Going to move this over. Going to regen some health. And then, you know what, we'll take the onion now. So, I like this comment. Somebody left me a comment that was like, Pythonet the onion, and he was fine. <laughs> but it really made me laugh, because I didn't really think of it like that. I would say, like, oh, I took the onion, not ate the onion, but ate the onion makes a lot more sense. Essentially, the onion, and this is what I believed it did, but I wasn't too sure. I didn't want to trigger it and then kind of mess everything up. But what it does is, it gives you a seventh accessory slot. Now, you may be wondering, like, Alright, why does it do that? Because uh, back in the day, it never used to do that. But now it does. Alright, so we eat it. Om nom 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 nom. And there we go. We've got a seventh accessory slot. Kind of cool, right? So I'll put on my hive pack. And we'll use the uh, we'll use the swarmer here. So everything is up to stuff. Up to snuff. I don't know how it goes. Kill that thing off. Why not? What we got? An urban, an urban pike? Earthen pike? And an, an Arid Artifact summons a Sandstorm. These are actually really good. They're pretty handy. And this is just a, a sword. Let's get rid of this. Right. Let's see what this does now. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to this thing. Watch this. I'll still die. You watch. Look. I'm taking a lot of damage already. Look at that. Does it get a buff? Because that is really hard. I wonder if it's been buffed. <laughs> I have got the latest version now as well, so there was a small micro patch after 1.2, which is funny because it wouldn't let me and Python play multiplayer on that version. We have to uh, we have to upgrade to this one to get it to work. Look at me, I'm still getting absolutely demolished by this thing health-wise. Well, I guess to be honest, not much has changed in the health department. All we've really changed is the uh, is the gun essentially, so we're just killing it faster. But that is mad. Hopefully, hopefully, when it gets real fast at the end, it doesn't uh, start murdering us real. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, before, I could do up to this point, and then it would get so fast that it would essentially kill us off. Oh, there we go. All right, awesome. All right, I'm glad that's done, because I hated that boss. Open it up. That's what we needed. We needed the, uh, the toxic heart. So, let's take this off and go back to the homeland. So it gives you some cells, it gives you a blight spewer, which is pretty cool, I like the particles on that. A weak diseased pike, so it gives you a pike, and it gives you valence, pretty cool as well. I like the particle effects on all these, are any of these, that's a material, that's not a material, that's not a material. Okay, well let's sell it then. So, Hannibal, 
So you and you sell these because actually I'll keep them in case I need them. I'm going to sell that. I've already used a bazaar today, so I'll sell that. Superior the Hive. What is this? What actually is this? What's it use? Bullets? Okay, let's let's buy some bullets and let's see what it does. I haven't used Ranger at all, so... Let's see about this. Oh, what's it? What's it? What's it fire? I don't know. I'm just gonna get rid of it. <laughs> I don't particularly need it. What a waste. All right, let's get rid of it and we'll put that away. All right, okay. Awesome. Uh, we'll keep the Eula Bloom ore as well. I, I don't know if that one's new. I can't remember. Memory, honestly, awful. Okay. Eula. No? Maybe you mix it with something else. I don't even know. Right, we're making an accessory today. So I've got everything I need, essentially. So let's see. So you need this, you need this, that and that. Where do you make it? <laughs> oh, is there a... Alright, okay, you make it here. That's weird. Okay, so the Plague Hive. Blinds and weakens the player if above 90% life. Alright, that doesn't sound great off the bat. Summons a damaging plague aura around the player to destroy nearby enemies. Releasing bees when damaged. Friendly bees inflict the plague. All of your attacks inflict the plague. Makes you immune to the plague. Projectile spawns plague. Seekers on enemy hits. The power of your bees and wasps will rival the moon lord himself. And it gives you a debuff. So that's pretty interesting. But let's see what damage it does. I mean, that's... Oh, wow. Okay, that is actually really insane. That is actually really mad. So let's go try the lunatic cultist. Because I want to farm some things out. So I'm going to have to go and do this anyway. Let's get rid of all these. Let's buff up again. Let's head over there. Let's see what happens. That is mad though, isn't it? That is really, really mad. That is... <laughs> I don't know if that's a little bit overpowered. You guys know I like to use that word. That is pretty crazy, isn't it? I wonder how far we'll go with this one weapon. It seems like the weapon you would you would go through a lot of the game with, I'm not going to lie, because I imagine it scales up, you know, with the, uh, the armors that you use. That's actually a really good point. I have no idea what armor to use next. I don't actually have a clue. I just know I have to go farm, and I hate farming, but it, it has to be done. Okay. Oh, that is just... That is beautiful. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh my god. That is silly. That is silly damage. And I got my Mel Blobs. Alright, cool. Celestial creatures are invading. Oh no! It's fine. Right, so I'm gonna... I guess I'm. what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna do the pillars off camera, right? Because as we all know, I absolutely hate doing them, but I'm going to get them done, right? And then once I've done all the pillars off camera, we'll do the Moon Lord fight together again, just to see what it's like with the Moon Lord, because I'm actually really interested. But for now, I'll, uh, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to film this properly because it's lagging me out so bad, but I took a Zerg potion because you all recommended it, to try and make farming the pillars that much easier. My god, does it work? <laughs> right, I've got to show you this. Like, I'm sure you've seen this elsewhere. I know Python has just covered this in the past. This increases enemy spawn rate, like, beyond belief. Like, this is stupidly insane. But have a little look at, like, how fast you can smash through a pillar. Right, so we're here. Alright, I'm not going to put a countdown on or anything like that, but just look what's happening here. Look at the uh, the countdown at the bottom, just kind of tick down. This is silly. This is so good. Like, if you can handle it, this potion is amazing. Like, I don't know why it's taken me so long to make one of these. Look at that. Come on now. That is brutal. That is so cool. Like, <laughs> like I am, like, fanboying out. Like, I've never had anything like this before. I would love to do a, a Terraria run with only Zerg potions. That would be so cool. That is so awesome. Look at me, I've got all these debuffs going down. Right, okay. Oh, no. Right, it's going well so far, though, but I had to show you that. Right, so I'm going to go farm some more. 
And then we'll uh, we'll see what happens at the end, guys. All right, the Moon Lord has awoken. I didn't even realize I'd done all the things. I was like running around like, where's the next one? Oh my God, look at that. That is silly. That is so crazy. Come on now, Calamity. You didn't have to mock the Moon Lord this bad. <laughs> but once again, though, with that Zerg potion, Calamity has fixed one problem in Terraria, which I hate. And it's farming those those damn pillars. So, Calamity, once again, you have done something brilliant. You have, you have done a simple thing that solves a big problem for me. That makes me stupidly happy. Like, it does genuinely make me so stupidly happy. I hate those pillars, and I always have done. They ain't a new thing. I've hated them since they even came out. Oh, God, right. Okay, core. Time to get cord. Okay, look at me. I'm just releasing bees every... Whoa, okay. My, my Terraria went out then. I don't know what happened there. I clicked out the window, so I don't know what you heard and what you didn't. <laughs> I don't know what that looked like for you. Maybe you didn't even see me click out my window. Maybe you just saw nothing. I'm pretty sure that's probably what you saw. Oh my god, Moon Lord. You have never been so easy. I finally feel like Euromir. I fi that's how... That's how it finally feels to stomp a boss. <laughs> oh, God. I hate this. They do little attacks at the end that just kind of annoy me. Oh, the Zerg's still going. Is the Zerg still going? All right. Oh, Jesus. All right. Okay. Back off. All right. Let's go and grab that stuff. But look at that guy. <laughs> I can't get over that. It's made my day, that Zerg potion. Honestly. It just makes uh Yeah. Yeah, that just makes everything so much easier. That makes me so happy. Like, you have, you guys honestly have no idea. I hate the event so bad that I diss it every time I do it. Okay, awesome. So we have some things to make. Um, I'm just going to look at some crafting recipes today. That's all I feel like doing. That's kind of what I'm into today. That's made me so happy, honestly. That's made me so, so happy. All right, where's my drops at? Come on. Take me to my drops. Wow, I was really far out, wasn't I? Oh, there we go. Okay, awesome. Right, did I get anything cool? Got a Moon Lord bag. Right, let's get rid of some stuff, some dumb stuff. Um, gonna keep the Mel Blobs. Gonna get rid of this, this, this. I still don't know what the Euro Bloom is for, so I'm gonna keep it. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of these, and I'm gonna get rid of these. Okay, awesome. Open this up. Nice. So we got the crystal staff, which I never, ever get, actually. I never, ever get it. And then we got another suspicious-looking eye in the gravity globe, which I think we can all agree. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, like, unanimous at this point. But the gravity globe is trash, right? <laughs> like, it's really bad. Like, I don't know why they need a gravity globe. It's one of the most pointless things I've ever seen. It's so pointless. It's so, 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 so pointless. Who needs it at that stage in the game? That's what that's what's silly about it. Right, well, we need our fragments out. So I'm going to grab... I don't even know where I put my fragments. <clears throat> they should be around. Uh, fragments. Right, they are in here. So let's see. Am I just going to go past them every time? So there's one. There's two. I have to be really slow with this for some reason. I'm just really not seeing them. Alright, that should be it, right? So, one, two, three, four. Okay, awesome. Right, and then I've got my Luminite. Which is up here in the second ore chest. Okay. So, we're going to smelt these up. Great Sword of Judgment. A pale white sword from a forgotten land. You can hear faint yet comforting whispers emitting from the blade. No matter where you may be, you are never alone. I shall always be by your side, my lord. Wow. That's the kind of love letters Python sends me after a recording. <laughs> okay, right. So, what do we make? We've got lots of stuff. <clears throat> Absolutely tons of stuff to choose from. None of it is modded, though. I am going to need so many of these. All right, this is where stuff starts getting interesting. So look at this. An elemental ray. So already something that we can do. So this is our terror ray. Doing 96 damage. 
Elemental Ray, 365 damage, 36% uh, critical strike chance, very fast speed, very strong knockback. Which one is this weapon, actually? Uh, this is this weapon, if you guys have gotten it. So this is the new one. A lot faster. Looking pretty good as well. So let's try it out. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, that's pretty good. Doing good damage. I mean, it doesn't compare to this. Or this. So there is some balancing issues to be to be worked upon, without a doubt. Right, it's time to see what this can do as well. So this can go into the subsuming vortex. This is a cluster of a weapon, right? So let's leave that one behind. Let's try this one out. So this can go to the primordial earth. So you need Cosmolite and Phantoplasm. Right, well Cosmolite is DOG, so we can't do that. So let's have a look at some of these singularities and see what we can make. So you can make the Rampart of Deities, which is uh, a bunch of stuff I've never made before. So this is new for me, I believe. But then you've got the Auric Tesla Armor. So I'm kind of under the impression that Auric Tesla is really good. And I did spend a lot of time actually farming this one out. But I don't know if I'm necessarily going to work on this one. But then again, it may be one of these things where you have to do it now because of the rebalancing. Wow. You changed my favorite sword. It looks badass. Wow. That actually looks so cool. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Man, some of these ones just look so good. I love the elemental style. Look at that. Elemental shiv? Jesus. Oh, the Alpha Ray. Oh, the Cosmolite. Yeah, we do need that. Elemental Disc. Oh, God, there is so much here that you can use. Ultra Liquidator. That's kind of cool. I mean, that's something that we could have worked on, admittedly. How do you make this? You need a Sky Fracture. I don't actually know what a Sky Fracture is. And then it goes to the Ultra Liquidator. We don't have a crimson world. That's a good point. We can't make that because we don't have a crimson world. Because you need the you need the thing to make the golden shower, right? So we know what this is. Oh man, there is just so much good stuff. Doesn't this make you want to try it all? You know what I mean? Like this gets me so excited. <laughs> I get really really pumped for this kind of stuff. All right, let's look at luminite real quick. So a lot of things we've already seen. Mortar rounds. Used by normal guns. Large blast radius will destroy tiles. This is cool. Using the Xeno Popper. That's cool. And a bubble gun. A Xeno Popper and a bubble gum. A bubble gum. <laughs> a bubble gun makes that. Oh, wow. There is so much good stuff. Right. I'm going to leave it there, though, for today's episode. I know it's a short one, but uh, I'm pretty happy with what we've done. Those Zerg potions, man. They're the highlight of today, right? Let's be honest. This is pretty cool, but this doesn't compare to this. You know what I mean? Like, there's a there's a clear difference in quality and uh, and power. This is just overpowered, but it's it's good overpowered. It's fun. What does this turn into? Does this get another upgrade? Okay, that goes into the vivid clarity. Okay, yeah, that is a cluster weapon. Right. Okay. Well, that's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all had a fantastic day. Um, you guys have been super awesome recently, and uh, you've all been liking the videos and leaving comments, and it's all good. So thank you all very, very much. Right, have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.